Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me, the master of hobbits, joined hey. by Brett. Oh shit! <laughs> of Anno Myces. Yeah. He said it's good. Mythic review. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. It was empty. That's why I threw it. No. Yeah. Uh, we're checking out another Jack O's beer. It's been yes. a long time since we checked out Jack O's beer. Uh, the last one was... Yeah, which one was that? Uh, we had Bourbon Barrel is uh, a Dark Apparition back in 17. Yeah, yeah, but but the last, before this... Oh, uh, uh, well, the last one was probably the Toil Collab. Oh, yeah, the Antique. Yeah, oh, antique. Or, or yes, your honey. I, I had a bottle of that too, I really would play it. Yeah. Well, but the last one we had together was Antique. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been around, but we've got a, two bottles for you. One is a quad with... Carrot cake spices. <laughs> yeah. Early. yeah really the really other good. one is this one, which is their Dark Apparition Asian Bourbon Barrels with Vanilla and Coffee Beans. Uh, we like Dark Apparition, but we loved the Bourbon Barrels version. We gave it a 94 uh, back in 2017. Yeah. But now this one came out again, and this is the highest rated version of Dark Apparition, so we're going to be trying it. Yeah, at least from what, what we've had available. Yeah, I, I don't know because How I think there's quite a few yeah, variants. Yeah. But I th yeah. I, I'm not sure. A lot of them are not bottled either. No. Yeah. Uh, so it's a 12.8% imperial stout brewed with. Is it honey as well, right? Yeah, it's honey and then vanilla or is and it, coffee. It, or, or maybe it's. Uh, okay, it doesn't. Or think, is it dark it, candy sugar? Or it's like candy sugar or honey. honey? It doesn't say on the label. It just says like. Coffee. Oro Negro contains honey. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. You guys let us know, because yeah. otherwise we're, we're going to have to pause the video and research, and that's not going to happen right now. I think so. this is the same base as our Negro, but I'm not quite I'm not sure. Entirely sure. No. But yeah, we've loved Darker Version, yeah. so it'll be fun to try a vanilla coffee variant, and yeah. it looks nice. Yeah. It looks like a barely so looks like stuff. Yeah, now we just had, uh, or not just, but the, just. we had another barely and girl stout that will not be named in the review, no. and looking at the just beer pouring out, it's not the same thickness at all. No. But it still looks, it looks pretty. Nice. It, it's not it looks like more velvety, and yeah. it still has that like the barrel aged stout head yeah. and like slightly bubbly, flimsy. Yeah, and but it doesn't look head. like super thin. No, it's no, no, like no. maybe a medium plus. And a mocha colored head thing. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice. Let's check out the aroma. Yep. Mm, yeah, yeah, definitely coffee. Yeah. Big time coffee. I'm like, I'm getting more coffee and lots of bourbon. Yeah. And it's more like the vanilla you get from bourbon barrels yeah. than actual yeah. vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. It's very like classic American barrel aged imperial stout. Yeah, and it's like it's a combination of sweet and roasty. Yeah. It's got a lot of like sweet caramel fudgy barrel character, but it has like that charry woody yeah. thing too, and like charry it's really woody. Roasty, burnt kind of thing too. It just it reminds me of like the classic American imperial stouts we've had that are barrel aged. Yeah. yeah. It, like it's not that it's, yeah, it's completely the same, it's, it's but kinda it has like kind of like kind of eclipse, but more new school. Yeah. And stronger. Yes. I think so. It's got like dark fruit too and like Yeah, again like a candy sugar or something like something like that. Like slightly vinous. Yeah. But like not all the way in like British style vineyard. It's a bit figgy. Hmm? Figgy yeah. plummy raisiny. Yeah. It smells nice though, it smells yeah. really nice. Yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Darker Cheers. version, coffee and vanilla. Mmm. That's really That's nice. the vanilla. Yeah, there we go. Much Ooh, more. And it's definitely also more like chocolatey, fudgy. Much more rounded. Mm. Yeah. Very rounded. It smells like it has more edges than it has on the taste. Yeah. I love it when you go like that, when you get this mm. aroma and you're like, ooh. And then you taste it and it's like, ah, it's just like maybe good. a bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Because often like ar aromas can also really disappoint you. Yeah. And you smell it and it smells like so good and you taste it and you're like, mmm. Mm. So, but uh, this is uh... yeah, it's like it's really nice, like a slightly creamy vanilla thing, a bit of like a caramel thing. Not too much coffee, but it it, it kind of I feels think like the coffee, coffee. Yeah, but but not as much as some you know not like no. modern imperial stouts we've had. Uh, but it, I, I think, think it's enough coffee. though. Yes, I think it's very balanced, like with the rest of the beer. Yeah, and it probably helps nutty, like round out some of the edges, maybe hazelnutty. Yeah, 
uh, maybe or maybe walnut -y. and like walnut is what's in Oro Negro. No. Yes, walnut and also in the no. the other that's yes. oil of Aphrodite. Yeah, but also Oro Negro. Oh Vagro. yeah, because oil of Aphrodite yes, is it's the same the, base. Yes. But this is not the same base. No, this is a separate beer. Yeah. yeah. Black walnut. That's that's how it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too many beers to be libraries yeah. about everything, um, but yeah, and it's like a honey thing. Mm -hmm. There's like a little bit of dark fruit, a little bit of raisin figgy things. There is a um, char. There's a bit of tobacco. There's a bit of like it's like like old school flair, but it has like new school sweet fudgy vibes. Yeah, caramel toffee, not really cakey, but like like that caramel fudgy toffee thing. Yeah, vanilla, um, and then the vanilla. I think again, it's it's more the barrel. Vanilla character the, from the bourbon barrel that stands out than the actual vanilla, yeah. and then like a very nice portion of coffee. But I think the actual vanilla it really helps good. it maybe round a bit out yeah. because I remember the regular bourbon barrel is dark apparition as being maybe a bit more edgy. Maybe yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course, it's it's a, it's a bit of time uh, since we've had that yeah, one, yeah. but but yeah, almost thirteen percent. This is very drinkable. Yeah. Not really hot at all. No. It's it's got some warmth. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's very pleasantly drinking. Mm. Very slick and silky. Mm. Um, yeah, it's really nice, just like all the other Jackie O's beers we've had in <laughs> barrels. Um, yeah, just, yeah, just very nice, like, you know, quite a bit of barrel presence. I wouldn't say world class. No, but but very, 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 very nice. Yeah. And that's why I'm going to grade it the same as Barrel Age or Negro. Or mm. Negro, Barrel Age Darker Version 94. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to jump up to 95 barrel uh, world-class territory. No. Just because of that. It is very, you know, su really good. super tasty, like, barrel-aged imperial stout. It's it's definitely something a lot of people will like, because it's not, you know, too crazy, and it's not too, you know, it's not too dark fruity either. You know, it's, it's no. kind of like a middle way between the modern stuff and, and the very old-school stuff. Um, yes. Yeah. Totally. So, yeah, I think 94 was a fair grade. I think so. Yeah. Very nice. So, I don't know if this also sold out already. I yeah. actually think this one is pretty widely available. Okay. Uh, surprisingly. Well, the thing enough. is with like Beardome uh, and the amount of reviews that's backlogged on the channel, I posted not too long ago a review that was shot in like when the whole lockdown thing started and then came out now. A Versali from Firestone Walker, but. There's a big back catalog, so mm. eventually this will be posted, but if you guys had a bottle of Jackie O's, darker version, Asian burn barrels, vanilla and coffee bean, that's what I always thought of it. This Very nice. nice. Again, great brewery. They do some nice stuff. Actually, coffee character-wise, it reminds me a bit of the the Blue Mountain one. Hmm. Yeah. Just yeah. as this, I don't know. If this is as intense. Oh, sorry. It's been <laughs> a long day. Sorry. Yeah. Last beer, and then... Yeah, uh, but yeah, I don't know if it's as intense in terms of coffee. No, but I remember uh, something like really good. I remember liking Black Mask and and Champion Ground maybe a bit more than this one, but Common Grounds or Champion oh, so, Ground. Sorry, no, I, and you didn't like Black Mask because that was the one that was infected. Oh, sorry. What what was Black, Black Maple? Wolf. Black Maple. Black Maple. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Black Dwarf is a character from Marvel. Yeah. Black Maple and uh, Champion Ground were very nice. Yeah. So yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. So I can get to bed after a long day of work and go to yeah. work in tomorrow. So if you guys had a chance to try Jaggio's vanilla and coffee bean burn barrel aged dark preparation. What's the way I thought of it? Very nice stuff. Maybe get it on Beer Dome, but check them out on the list. Link for the shop is down below. And as always remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram for this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're gonna like cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.